Hello everybody, my name is Psycho. We are playing the first episode to Back to the Future the game. This will be a mini series of multiple parts. Uh, yes, I would like goals. And I'll wait through this. They did The Walking Dead. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's a Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Ivy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? <coughs> Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. I'm not going to be talking while they're talking, so... It's not, doesn't get as annoying. Come on, come My on. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious <laughs> Watch this, watch this. You disintegrated Einstein. You just said, ah, what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Disintegrated Einstein! Come down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! The appropriate question is, when the f You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? A time machine? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! <coughs> it's paper litter. That's dangerous. Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Fetch quest. Let's go. I can do this. Walk. A sealed container. What's in the box? Don't touch that! It's plutonium! Pl uh, plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Ah, uh, yes. And then the terrorists come and kill you. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? <laughs> My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals high times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times... Doc, uh, something's way off here. I'm not 
sure how I feel about the art style that they took. Well, it's Scott. Doc, what is it? What did Einstein I do? I made a horrible mistake. Did Einstein? What? No. Einstein killed Doc. Doc. No, no. Stupid dog. I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come Stupid back. Stupid dog. Doc. Oh, it was all a dream. Marty, is everything okay? No. Yeah, Mom, I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. We don't care about your dream. We just saw it. Well, you're safe and sound now, back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Back to the future. The game. I really hope this is going to be good, because I spent a whole uh, nothing on this. Because it's just the first episode. Clocks and clocks and clocks and clocks. I remember that. The speaker. the sale? No. Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? Yes. It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Oh, that's retard. Hi, that's the mind reading Come to thing. see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Sentiment? Remembering. Oh, let's walk around. Television. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? You know nothing about time travel. Uh, let's go to Biff. Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. Did your parents name you Biff? I wanted. I want to ask that. Uh, Doc's not. Dead. Doc's not dead, you know. He's still around. Oh, really? Do you see him around here? Yes, I do. He's right behind you. Uh, I'm looking for something uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh, just not gonna answer him. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the butt. What? You know what, you're just uh, Never mind. I'm not going to talk to you, but uh, let's see. Uh, scientific equipment. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Then why did you just 